Good morning, friends. In the previous two lectures, we have done the laws of exponents and powers, and also seen the examples in the previous lecture. I hope you have understood the sums very well. And I had given for homework exercise 12.1. So I also hope that you have done the exercise. Today we are going to solve exercise 12.1. So you can check your answers with mine and see how much you have understood. If your answers are not correct, then you will have to go through the video one more time. So these are the laws of exponents which have been used in the previous lecture while solving the sums. Now the exercise question number one is evaluate. So I hope you do remember the words evaluate means to find the value. So what are the basic steps we take? The first sum is three raised to minus two, a negative power. So we turn it into a positive power by taking the reciprocal. So 3 raised to minus 2 becomes 1 upon 3 square. That is 1 upon 3 into 3, which becomes 1 upon 9. So this is a very simple sum. I hope all of you have got it correct. In the second sum we have minus 4 raised to minus 2. The base is negative and the power is also negative. So first we convert the power into positive by taking the reciprocal. So it becomes minus 4, 1 upon minus 4 the whole square. That is 1 upon minus 4 into minus 4. That becomes 1 upon minus 4 into minus 4. Negative to negative is positive. So it becomes 1 upon 16. In the third sum we have 1 upon 2 raised to minus 5. We have got a fraction as the base and the power is negative. So we take the reciprocal it becomes 2 upon 1 or just 2 raised to 5. 2 raised to 5 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 5 times repeated multiplication. So 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 8 2s are 16, 16 2s are 32. So this is the answer. So in this way we have done the first sum. That is evaluate, find the values. Okay. And the second sum we have simplify and express in power notation with a positive exponent. So we have to just simplify but show the sum in a positive exponent. We do not have to find the value. We just have to simplify. So you know which rules to use here. Minus 4 raised to 5 divided by minus 4 raised to 8. The base is the same and the sign is division. So we have to keep the same base minus 4 raised to the powers m minus n. So 5 minus 8 which gives us minus 4 raised to minus 3 because 5 minus 8 is minus 3. But that is a negative exponent, negative power. They have told us to make it a positive exponent. So we will take the reciprocal 1 upon minus 4, the whole raised to 3. So this is your answer. But you can also shift the negative sign, negative sign to the numerator and make it minus 1 upon 4 raised to 3. That does not change the answer. In the second sum we have 1 upon 2 raised to 3 raised to 2. Now, both the powers are here, both the powers are positive. So, which formula will we use? We will write a upon b raised to m is a raised to m upon b raised to m. Means simplifying, I will write 1 square upon 2 raised to 3, the whole square. This power m has gone to the numerator and the denominator. Now 1 square is 1 into 1, that is 1. And what we have got this formula, a raised to m raised to n. a raised to m raised to n is a raised to m into n. So we will do 2 raised to 3 into 2. That becomes 1 upon 2 raised to the power 6. 
So here I did not take the reciprocal because both the powers are positive. So I did not change the sum but kept it as it is. In the third sum we have minus 3 raised to 4 into 5 upon 3 raised to 4. Now here we have got a raised to m into b raised to m. The powers are the same which becomes a b raised to m. Now in this sum you have to learn a new technique is minus 3 raised to 4 is minus 3 into minus 3 into minus 3 into minus 3. So minus into minus is plus. So minus into minus 3 is 9. 9 into minus 3 into minus 3. 9 into minus 3 becomes minus 27 and 27 into minus 3 becomes again plus 81. So we are getting here that minus 3 raised to 4 is 81. Also what is 3 raised to 4? 3 raised to 4 is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 and that is also 81. So basically we have that minus 3 raised to 4 is also 3 raised to 4. Why this happened? Because the power is an even number. When the power is an even number, the negative into negative becomes positive, into negative becomes negative, into negative becomes positive. So when the 3 is taken 4 times or 2 times or 6 times, then the final answer is positive. So minus 3 raised to 4 is also 3 raised to 4. Similarly, minus 2 raised to 8 is also 2 raised to 8. Remember, this is only true for even powers. So, now for particularly for this sum, I will write minus 3 raised to 4 as 3 raised to 4 into using this term again 5 upon 4 raised 5 by 3 raised to 4 becomes 5 upon 4 upon 3 raised to 4. Now 3 raised to 4 is here in the numerator and here in the denominator so they both get cut. So we are left with the answer 5 raised to 4. In this simplification because I have got 3 in the denominator 3 raised to 4 and I have got minus 3 raised to 4 in the numerator I have changed this to 3 raised to 4 because I can do this for the even powers. So this is a simplification of the sum. Now we have the same question, the fourth one, using the rule, yes the base is 3, 3 and 3, we will take the bracket and solve it. So which rule will we use here, we will use a raised to m into b raised to m, sorry this is not the rule, this is the same base so we have to use a raised to m into a raised, sorry it is divide, a mistake, a raised to m divide by a raised to n equal to a raised to m minus n. So 3 raised to minus 7 minus minus 10. Okay, why? Because it is minus 7, division gives us a minus sign here and the n is minus 10 so to keep it minus 10 into 3 raised to minus 5 I keep as it is this I keep as it is now this becomes 3 raised to 7 minus minus becomes plus so plus 10 into 3 raised to minus 5 again the base is same so I can add the powers to 3 raised to 7 plus 10 minus 5 is 3 raised to 7 plus 10 is 17 minus 5 is 12. So the answer is 3 raised to 12. In the fifth question we have 2 raised to minus 3 
into minus 7 raised to minus 3. Here the power is same. So what we'll use? A raised to m into b raised to m is ab raised to m. Means this becomes 2 raised to minus sorry 2 into minus 7 the whole raised to minus 3. So it becomes minus 14 raised to minus 3. But you can see the exponent is negative. How do we make it positive? By taking the reciprocal. So it becomes 1 upon minus 14 raised to 3. Also written as minus 1 by 14 raised to 3. So I hope you are also doing the sums correctly. Yes, if you are doing the sums correctly means you have understood the concept very well. If not, rewind the video and see the previous lectures also. In the third sum we have to find the value. So here we have to find the value. Now you can see in this sum, if it is 3 raised to 0, there is the plus sign here, which is not equal of exponents. There is a negative power here and there is the exponent here. So how will we solve the sum? 3 raised to 0 plus 4 raised to minus 1 into 2 square. Okay. Now because we have got this bracket here, we will have to use the board mass rule. Remember you cannot multiply this two first because they have given a bracket. So anything raised to 0 is 1. We have learnt anything raised to 0 is 1. So it becomes 1. 4 raised to minus 1 becomes 1 upon 4 bracket into 2 square. What is 2 square? 2 square is 4. Now you cannot cut this 4 and 4 because it is in a bracket. So we will take the LCM. This becomes 1 upon 1. So 1 into 4 and 1 into 4. So this becomes 4 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 into 4 which becomes 4 plus 1, 5 upon 4 into 4. Now this 4 and 4 get cut and we are left with the answer 5. In the second sum we have 2 raised to minus 1 into 4 raised to minus 1 divided by 2 square. So the power is the same. So what we do? 2 into 4 raised to minus 1 divided by 2 square. 2 fours are 8. So I get 8 raised to minus 1 divided by 2 square is 4. Now 8 raised to minus 1 is 1 upon 8 divided by 4. So what is the rule for fractions? When the division signs turn into multiplication, we take the reciprocal. So 1 upon 4 we get the answer 1 upon 32. Okay, so remember the answer is 1 upon 32. In the third sum we have a negative power and a plus sign means we cannot use any exponent law. We just use the law of the negative power. So we take the reciprocal. This becomes 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square. What I did is because we have got a minus 2 the negative power we do the reciprocal. So 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16. So we get the answer 4 plus 9, 13 plus 16 gives us 29. So this is basically how we are applying the rules to do the different sums. Okay, now the fourth sum is in the same way. How will we solve this sum? 3 raised to minus 1 becomes 1 upon 3 plus 4 raised to minus 1 becomes 1 upon 4 plus 5 raised to minus 1 becomes 1 upon 5 and this whole thing is raised to the power 0. Now you can solve this whole thing by taking the LCM. So you will get something to the power 0. You will get something over here. 
but should we find it out should we solve it no why we are not solving it because we know anything raised to 0 is 1 so directly we can put the answer 1 there is no need to find the LCM or solve the sum because the whole bracket the whole bracket is given as raised to 0 and we know anything raised to 0 is 1 so you can directly put the answer 1 in the fifth sum we have minus 2 raised to 3 negative power the whole raised to 2 now this sum can be solved in two ways so I will show you both the ways to solve the sum first rule we can use a raised to m raised to n becomes a raised to m into n so I can write this as minus 2 by 3 into minus 2 into 2 m into n this becomes minus 2 upon 3 raised to minus 4 this becomes 3 upon minus 2 raised to the power 4 because you have to find the value we have to open it 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 upon minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 23 7 3 is a 81 upon minus 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 sorry plus 4 plus 4 into minus 2 is minus 8 minus 2 into minus 2 is plus 16 remember if the power is even power then the number final answer is positive so this is one way to do the sum the second way to do the sum is first change this negative power into positive power so I will do minus sorry I will do 3 upon minus 2 raised to 2 understood what I did here I first just change this negative power by taking the reciprocal raised to the power 2 and now I do the multiplication so I get 3 raised to min upon minus 2 raised to 2 into 2 so it basically gives me the same answer minus 3 by 2 raised to 4 which gives me 81 upon 16 so you can first take the convert the negative power or first you can multiply the power so you can do the sum either way you want both the answers are correct next sum we have is to evaluate what is the meaning of the word evaluate means to find the value now in this type of sum we will use the method of prime factorization so you, I hope you remember what is prime factorization when you to simplify we will go by prime factorization so what we have to do here is we have got this 8 8 is 2 into 2 into 2 so 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3 so when we do this type of sum we will have to learn to simplify the numbers into prime factors so now 8 can be written as 2 raised to 3 raised to the power minus 1 into 5 raised to 3 upon 2 raised to minus 4 which rule will we use here 2 raised to 3 raised to minus 1 is a raised to b raised to m so we multiply the power so it becomes 2 raised to 3 into minus 1 into 5 raised to 3 we keep as it is upon 2 raised to minus 4 this gives us 2 raised to minus 3 into 5 raised to 3 upon 2 raised to minus 4 now you can see here the base 2 and 2 is the same and it is in division so the rule is 2 subtract the power so 2 raised to minus 3 minus minus 4 into 5 cube this gives us 2 raised to minus 3 minus minus becomes plus so minus 3 plus 4 into 5 cube that becomes 2 raised to 4 minus 3 is 1 so 1 into 5 cube this is done the simplification now for evaluate 2 raised to 1 is 2 into 5 cube is 5 into 5 into 5 that is 125 and 125 into 2 will give us the answer 250 so this is the evaluation of this sum by doing the prime factors 
Now here also we have to do the evaluation, means find the value. We know all the three powers are same, but this time we will not use that because we have to do the evaluation. So this time I will keep it 5 raised to minus 1 into 2 raised to minus 1 and 6 can be written as prime factors as 3 into 2 that is 6 raised to minus 1. Now we know AB raised to M is equal to A raised to M into B raised to M. So this becomes 5 raised to minus 1 into 2 raised to minus 1 into 3 raised to minus 1 into again 2 raised to minus 1. So we got this 5 raised to minus 1 as it is. Now since this and this base is the same, because it is the same, I will write 2 raised to minus 1 plus minus 1, adding the powers into 3 raised to minus 1. So we get 5 raised to minus 1 into 2 raised to minus 2 into 3 raised to minus 1, which will give us 1 upon 5 into 1 upon 2 square into 1 upon 3 raised to 1. That is 1 upon 5 into 1 upon 4 into 1 upon 3. So we got numerator 1 1s are 1, 1 1s are 1 upon 5 4s are 20, 20 3s are 60. So the answer we get is 1 upon 60. Okay. So what I have done here is I have done the sum in two ways. Till here I have simplified the sum, simplified, simple form and then I got the value. If you want you can also find the value directly because the sum is evaluate and the powers are same. You can just do 5 into 2 into 6 raised to minus 1. Why? Because the powers are the same and the bases are in multiplication. You can do that. So you get 5 to the 10, 10 is the 60. So 60 raised to minus 1 and the negative power becomes positive as 1 upon 60. So the evaluate you can do in both methods. First you can simplify and then find the answer or you can directly find the answer. But in simplification sums you only have to simplify it. Okay. Now this type of sum we had done before. We have to find the value of m. What you can see in this sum, the base is the same, RHS is a direct value, but LHS is not direct, you have to do a simplification with the power given. What rule will we use here? A raised to M divided by A raised to N, same base, is A to the power M minus N. This implies the LHS becomes phi raised to M division sign so minus minus 3 equal to 5 raised to 5. This gives us 5 raised to m minus minus becomes plus so plus 3 equal to 5 raised to m. Now in the previous lecture we saw that when the two numbers are equal the bases are same and the powers are also same. Here the base is the same so we have to take the power also have to be the same. So m plus 3 equal to 5 which gives us m equal to 5 minus 3 that is equal to 2. Therefore we get the value m equal to 2. So this is a very simple sum which we did in the previous lecture also. And this type of sums you have to see the LHS and the RHS. The RHS is simplified here nothing to do. The LHS to be simplified in such a way that the basis become the same and the powers will also remain the same. Now since the base is 5 and 5 same, we do nothing here. So we equalize the powers and get the value of m. For the next sum, again we have got evaluate. Evaluate means finding the value. With sign in between here, minus sign. So we cannot use any law. So first we will simplify this power. So minus 1, how does it become positive? It becomes reciprocal 3 raised to 1 minus 4 raised to 1 the whole raised to minus 1. This is 3 minus 4 raised to minus 1 but you have got minus 1 raised to minus 1 which becomes 1 upon minus 1 
raised to 1. So we have to find the value. So 1 raised to 1 upon minus 1 raised to 1 is 1 upon minus 1 or the negative side becomes minus 1. So this is the final answer. Minus 1. See the steps properly. In the second sum we have I hope you remember this type of sum 5 by 8 8 by 5 the reciprocal so 1 power I will turn positive so this becomes 8 upon 5 raised to 7 into 8 upon 5 raised to minus 4 now the basis have become same and a multiplication sign so I will have to add the powers because of the multiplication sign so 7 plus minus 4 that is 8 upon 5 7 minus 4 which becomes 8 upon 5 raised to 3 but since they have told you evaluate you have to find the value so we we'll get this 8 into 8 into 8 upon 5 into 5 into 5 8 8 za is 64 64 8 za multiply and see you get 5 1 2 and 5 5 is a 25 25 5 is a 125 so this is the evaluating answer next sum we have to simplify ok this is a very good sum we have to simplify now look here the number is given 25 and this is given 10 which are not into prime factors so what will we do we will write 25 as 5 into 5 or 5 square and we will write 10 as 5 into 2. So this sum simplifies to 25 becomes 5 square into 3 raised to minus 4 upon 5 raised to minus 3 into 10 becomes 5 into 2 into t raised to minus 8. Now you can see 5, 5, 5 same base t, t same base and 2 is the only one with a different base. So I will write 5, 2. Now minus 3 is in the denominator means division. So I have to separate the powers. So I will write minus, minus 3. Also this 5 is 5 raised to 1 which is in denominator. So I have to separate the power. I will write minus 1. Into t minus 4 minus 8 t raised to minus 8 same base in the division so I will write minus minus 8 and 2 I will keep it as it is so I get this 5 raised to 2 minus minus 3 that is 2 plus 3 minus 1 into 2 raised to minus 4 minus minus so plus 8 upon 2 which gives us 5 raised to 2 plus 3 5 minus 1 is 4 into t raised to 8 minus 4 is 4 upon 2. So this is the total simplification done. Yes, I have kept the 2 in the denominator because I want to keep a positive power. 5 in the numerator and t in the numerator. You can further simplify this because the power is the same. So you can multiply the base so you get 5 into t 5t raised to 4 upon 2. So this is the way we have simplified the whole sum. And the second one of simplification in the same way we will see again 10 is a composite number, 125 is a composite number and 6 is a composite number. So first I will write 10 as 5 into 2. So, 10 raised to minus 5 will become 5 raised to minus 5 into 2 raised to minus 5. Using which rule? AB raised to M equal to A raised to M into B raised to M. Similarly, 6 is equal to 3 into 2. So, 6 raised to minus 5 becomes 3 raised to minus 5 into 2 raised to minus 5. And 125 is 5 into 5 into 5 or 5 q. So all these steps we have to learn to simplify sums. 
so the first 3 raised to minus 5 I will keep as it is 10 raised to minus 5 I will write as 5 raised to minus 5 into 2 raised to minus 5 125 I will write as 5 cube below the 5 raised to minus 7 I will write as it is and 6 raised to minus 5 I will write as 3 raised to minus 5 into 2 raised to minus 5. Now what do you observe? You observe 2 raised to minus 5 in the numerator and 2 raised to minus 5 in the denominator same value. So you can just cut it off and make it 1. 3 raised to minus 5 in the numerator and 3 raised to minus 5 in the denominator same value. Cut and get minus 1. So what are we left with? We are left with 5 raised to minus 5 into 5 raised to 3 upon 5 raised to minus 7. All the bases are same. So now we can apply the rule of exponents. So we get 5 raised to minus 5. Both in the numerator so we will add get plus 3. But minus 7 is in the denominator. This is denominator that is divide. So to subtract the power so minus minus 7. This becomes 5 raised to minus 3. Sorry 5 raised to minus 5 plus 3 plus 7. That becomes 5 raised to 3 plus 7, 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. So 5 raised to 5. So after simplification of the whole thing, you get the simple answer 5 raised to 5. That is called simplification. This whole thing is broken down into a simple form which gives us 5 raised to 5. If the sum was evaluate, if the sum was evaluate, then you would, you would have to do 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 and put out the final answer if the sum was evaluated but because the sum is only simplified so the simplification is done and this is the end of the exercise I, again I hope that you understood the sums I hope most of your sums are correct you understood the sums very well if not then see all the lectures again because this is very very important chapter this laws of exponent will be very useful to you in later classes also Okay, so go through it. For your homework, you will have to do this exercise now in the fair book. Okay, so do the exercise now in the fair book and revise it one more time. I am going to end here. Thank you.